Welcome to day three of the Arizona BDR. We are currently in Flagstaff. That's the beginning of section five. This bike right here doesn't want to start, so we're gonna have to we just got everything all packed. We have to tear it apart, expose the battery, do the micro start thing, and get going. Wait. Oh shit. Hey, what did I tell ya? Oh I stalled it, my god, on the bridge. Okay, let's give it a go. Neutral, check. It's <laughs> still not very happy. Give it a minute. Yeah. Our micro start didn't work. It was the lights were freaking out and it did nothing. Nothing at all. So we're gonna go and try and buy a battery or buy a micro start. We don't know. Well, we're not driving just yet. Okay, it's a few degrees warmer now. The micro start might be behaving more. Let's see, is the little blinky thing working? Oh, it's got a green light. No, nope, okay. it's black. Doing that thingy again. That's what it was doing before. That's apparently okay. It's only if it's flashing red that we've got problems. When it's back and forth, it says it's fine. Really? Yeah. yeah. Seems crazy right. to me. Push the magic button. Yeah. Engage. <laughs> That's doing nothing. Oh, it's green now. That's actually a change. Okay. Oh, it stopped. Let's give it like 20 seconds. Yeah. Don't touch it. Wow. So, <laughs> just want to keep these lights on. Oh, yeah. Okay, well. It's not even catching at all. Isn't this thing strong enough to boost like a diesel truck? Yeah. Lies. Okay, well, Smelly is up in the presidential suite. I'm gonna go to Mike's Bikes and pick up a new battery and hopefully a new micro start. Our micro start's supposed to jump start a diesel truck and it wouldn't do uh, scrappy this morning, so they got something wrong there. Let's go check it out. So Big Mike only does batteries for Harleys. But he suggested that maybe Go AZ Power Sports would have what we're looking for. So I'm on my way there now. Hopefully these guys have what we need. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, if you land yourselves in Flagstaff, Arizona and you need some parts, you need to make sure you head over to Go AZ Motorcycles. Check out Chaz and parts. This dude will get you hooked up. Oh, yeah. And we are on the go. We got a new battery. They're out of micro starts. Not a big deal, this bad boy's charged and we're ready to rumble. We'll see you soon. There he is. We did it. Say thanks to Chaz at Go AZ Motorcycles. Thanks Chaz. Your yeah. camera's crooked as usual. Oh yeah, I'm crooked. <laughs> this is what we call the moment of truth. Yeah, well before we try and we're gonna have to modify this in order to get this battery to strap in. Our other battery is a bit of a shoulder here. It's narrower at the top. And this just won't fit in. We'll have to shave some plastic. But let's try this first. See if old Scrappy's gonna go. Yeah. That was not a good sound. <laughs> we got bigger problems. All right, go. I'm gonna try something dirt, else. Dirt chimps. This will be your. This will be your. Your, okay, your, your that's base. us. <laughs> there you go. Remember, are you filming? Yeah. Remember, <laughs> y'all better subscribe to Dirt Chimps. Uh, uh, Jake the Garden Snake said so. so all some right. Some people out there will know who that is. <laughs> oh, all the titans of YouTube have come together. <laughs> <laughs> right here, in the days in Burger Lab, baby. Let's see what right. happens. Let's give it a whirl, gentlemen. Small world. Ooh, that sounds good. Doesn't sound any better. It sounded faster than it did a second ago. It was real slow a second ago. <laughs> Might be something else maybe, wrong. Maybe worth it just to really take the truck and just go power the gear just to put the battery on it. 
Okay, these guys are doing important stuff. Let's go walk around. Look at the other bikes. <laughs> Here's a really cool bike. It's really clean, won't be for long. Well done. And here, this is just like our Winston. Except he's got full luggage. He's got a fuzzy butt. Highway pegs. All kinds of great stuff. Oh yeah. Full on party, right? Oh yeah, ready for everything. <laughs> His bike's a handful. Well, no, that means that I hear the fuel pump. All right. Hey. Mm -hmm. That's it, bro. 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 Yeah, it's got a dead cell. Well, but it's jumped to that battery. Yeah, yeah it's, it's basically it's pulling. Dead battery. Well, it's it's yeah. well, Jake the Garter Snake and his band of merry hooligans couldn't get us going this morning, so we're heading back to KDM. The battery isn't fully charged. We've also just found out that the top of this fork tube is a little loose. So we're going to get that fixed too, and then we're going to get at it. We'll see you soon. Thanks again, boys. No problem. Have a good one. I know they'll figure it out. They'll get it fixed. Oh, yeah. Good to go. Uh oh, wah, wah, wah. Scrappy's not feeling too good. Scrappy's going to go AZ motorcycles. We're gonna see what we can find out. Stay tuned. Now there's something you don't see every day. A 790 rally on the back of a flat deck. Oh dear, poor Scrappy, off to the doctor. Uh, we're gonna see what we can see. Hopefully these guys can plug into the 790 and see what's wrong with it. Hopefully it's a quick fix and we're on our way. They're booked out about two weeks, absolutely slammed right now, and they are sounding empathetic to our cause, but uh, they've also got other customers, so time will tell. Stay tuned. This is the face of a defeated man. The 790's busted. So Andrew here is going to drive back and get the recovery vehicle. Come back here, pick me and Scrappy up, and then we're going to drive back home. So we're not going to finish the BDR on this trip, but we will be back. We'll keep you posted. Well, that is the end of the adventure for, for this trip. Um, Scrappy, the top end, is somehow messed up. So we get dust in the engine because the intake uh, air cleaner was a little bit dirty. And we go up to elevation, engine cools down bike freaks out, won't start, needs to be taken apart. Um, it's a big job and uh, these guys are busy so they said they could maybe fit us in tomorrow and do all that work but then even then they'd only be doing kind of a halfy job so the bike's being trucked back. Andrew's gone to uh, pick up the truck and uh, he'll come pick me up tomorrow. We'll take it from there. It's 9 p.m. it's time for a quick update. Uh, I went for an evening walk down to uh, a gear store and bought some stuff and uh, Andrew's been driving the whole time, look. All the way from where we are, up to Las Vegas, and he's headed up to St. George, and then to Hurricane, to where the truck is. You go, buddy, you're the champ. See you in, well, see you tomorrow morning. I'm gonna have a nice sleep, <laughs> sorry. Okay, everybody. Sweet Pea and I just had quite a day today, heading from Flagstaff, Arizona up to Hurricane Utah to pick up the Nomad to turn around tomorrow morning and burn back to Flagstaff and pick up Scott and Scrappy. Uh, the trip started out with getting turned around an hour out of town due to a forest fire and then having to completely change course. A quick rip through Las Vegas, which is kind of cool on a Husky 501. Um, some terrifying wind and about two hours of riding in pitch black. And I gotta say this, you probably can't pick it up because it's so dark right now, but we've got Nomad Towers on our 501s. Scott's got one on a 790 as well, and we're running dual Cyclops lights, and they are brilliant once it gets good and dark. They're really quite nice on the highway, and I was really happy to have them tonight. So tomorrow morning, I'll give you a bit more footage on the way back, give you a play-by-play -play on my trip from today. It was too crazy to film, 
the camera would have flown off my helmet if it was that windy. We're catching the AM. All right, Dainty's getting warmed up. Sweet peas in the back. Let's go get smelly and scrappy. So, I was wondering last night, what's just off the road right now? Because it was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing other than what was directly in front of me. And the views around here are spectacular. I'm between St. George and Las Vegas and it is big country and it is rugged. Um, massive mountains, rock, just angry terrain as far as the eye can see. It's spectacular. It is spectacular to look at. What? Check this out guys. It doesn't get much prettier than that. This is just incredible. The sun's coming up over the mountains. Things are starting to glow. Look all pretty. Not too shabby for a morning drive. Well, at least it wasn't doing this at me last night. It is pouring rain and still blowing like mad. It would have been really gross on Sweet Pea in this last night. Thankfully, didn't have any of it. So, one thing I've learned recently is it's all an adventure. You know, this kind of thing, even five years ago, would have had me wound up tighter than a spring. And uh, looking at it like how it was wrecking our trip, didn't get to finish the BDR, wah. Who cares? It's a bummer that it happened, but um, we're fixing it. And it is part of the adventure. We're making some crazy memories. And we've already decided we're gonna come back and wrap this BDR. We'll start in Flagstaff, pound our way to the top, and then probably skip over and do the Utah BDR right after that. So, no harm, no foul. Adventure. So a quick 20 hour tour of duty and we are back at Go Easy Motorcycles. Let's go find Scotty, go find Scrappy, load him up and let's go for a drive to Utah. That sounds like fun to me. Let's get his initial impressions as we show up. How's it going? 12 hours of driving and 24 hours. Not too shabby. <laughs> let's go for a drive to Utah. Let's go back. Let's get up in that truck again and throw in some more miles. Yeah. All right. Okay. Into the meat wagon she goes. Well, she's all loaded up. We're ready to go home. She's taking a look at Andrew's tires here. After doing a little bit of highway in the high winds. Look at these. I'm a hardcore. What a strange wear pattern, too. I'm getting blown around and ripping along at 1.30. Oops, I just condemned you. <laughs> that's the hey. fear That's the fear pattern. That's what that is. All right, well, we're going to drive back to St. George and wrap this puppy up. We'll let you know what our plans are from here on out, but I think it's, we're going to come back and do this maybe another time. We'll do it in conjunction with the Nevada BDR. We'll see you later.